Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to lock your row or column uh, fields. This is useful in uh, tables where you have large data sets and let's say for example you want to scroll up and down but you want to keep the header field visible. So in our example let's say we scroll down and we see that our header field up here and country name, country code, etc. in these years aren't viewable or if we wanted to uh, scroll across and we wanted to keep the country names viewable but as you can see we can't do that because this is a large table. Uh, there's one, two ways we can do that and one is with the freeze panes feature and the other way is with the split feature. So I'll cover the freeze pane feature first. So what we would do is we go under view and under the uh, window area here we have this freeze panes option. Now if we click that we can freeze the panes, freeze the top row, or freeze the first column. So if you just wanted the first top row to be viewable as you scroll down you can just click on that and you can see here we can go up and down and we see the first row is frozen. Now if we didn't want to do that, let's unfreeze panes. We wanted to keep the column here. We, there's also the option to freeze in the first column. So if we froze the first column now we can see as we scroll across that column is frozen. So let's say for example we want to freeze the first column and the first row. So as we scroll across or scroll down uh, we would have these two frozen. So basically that's just the first option. Let's unfreeze panes and what we would need to do is, is select in the point where we would want the... Uh, well if we select actually in, in this area it's going to freeze the row above and freeze the column to the left. So for in our example, if we select B2, it's going to freeze that area. So we'll go ahead and freeze panes. And as we scroll down, we see the first row is frozen. As we scroll right, we see that column is frozen. So let's unfreeze panes. So basically, you can, you can actually select any cell around the table. And wherever you want, wherever you've selected it, the row above and the column to the left is frozen. So for example, I've selected, uh, let's say for example, I select C4 here, and I go freeze panes, and is actually frozen the rows above and the row and the columns to the left. So that's let's not freeze that. So that's how you would lock the rows or the columns using the freeze pane feature. The other feature is called the split feature. This little doohickey here, this, <laughs> this little icon here. And what this does is it basically it splits the screen. Very similar to freeze panes, but you have some other options. Whoops. I'm going to control Z there. You have some other options where you would be able to scroll within those uh, locked rows or columns. So let me go through an example. Let's say, for example, uh, I'll go to B2 and I want to go ahead and split there. Uh, same, same, the same example if I wanted to freeze panes in a way. So if we go into the, we go into the split, what it's going to do is it's going to split these, split our view here. And one interesting thing here with the split is you're able to actually move it around. With the freeze panes, you weren't able to move that that line around when it and when it got locked. So here we can move the rows where we maybe wanted to see the first six rows or move, move the column where we wanted to see the first two columns. So that's one of the features with the split. Another feature with the split is the scroll bars are active here. So we can still scroll up and down the table. As you can see here, I can scroll from the rows and I can also scroll from the, ta from the columns. Another interesting way, another way to actually use this split feature, let me turn it off, is there's these split boxes here to right here uh, which will let you split if you can just hover over that and drag it it'll let you create a split. See now I've created a horizontal split and here's the one for the column split. I can just select that and drag it and I've created a split. And you can also turn it off here. You can also turn it off by bringing it back to the end, bringing it back to the end and let me bring the row one back to the end or if you wanted to get let it let Excel kind of arbitrarily decide where to put your split you can just actually double click this and it'll create a split here and you double click here and it'll create a split there actually what it did was um it created a split where 
the where your where sales selection was at. So if I wanted to get rid of the split, I just double click that and double click that and they've disappeared. So there are two examples of how to lock your row and columns with both the freeze pane and the split feature. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.